Hello, and welcome to Slade on Slade. I am Leslie, this is Keith, and today we're doing plot twists. I am also the writer of The House of Ribbons, which you can see right here. And I'm also a super fan of a book called I Am Dracula by Dean Anderson. A plot twist is an unexpected development in a book, film, or pro TV program. So my first question for you today is, when you are writing a plot twist, should you kill off a seemingly important character? I thought you said semen. A <laughs> semen-filled character. Oh, shit, it's NCIS. <laughs> what am I writing an NCIS? <laughs> she was semen-filled. <laughs> and she was a dolphin. Plot twist. Didn't think that was going to happen, did you? <laughs> Dolphins will mess you up if you get close to them. You don't believe me? Google that shit. When I say GTS, it means Google that shit. What was the question again? Should you kill off a seemingly important character? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, my second book, I kill off uh, a major character right off the bat. And it, it literally affects book three, four, and five. Can you tell when I'm shaking my leg from there? Does it look like I'm shaking around? No. Shouldn't you like to like... <laughs> Who what a twist? Are you going to complete that answer? Who what a twist? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, again, it's your book. Uh, if you want to kill off a major character, you can. But remember, no matter who you kill off, remember that character could have been important you know, X amount of time down the road. So uh, killing off somebody is something that you really want to, you want to be really, really careful. Uh, especially if it's in like a group. You know, if you're killing off a mob character, um, how is that going to affect uh, the lead character? You know, uh, later later on when that guy could have been good. That's a pretty good answer, right? Yeah. Oh, what a twist! It was a terrible answer. When writing a plot twist, should this happen organically? Yeah, you don't want to just throw it in. Uh, you don't want to just kill off uh, your, uh, a character. Uh, just for the shock value. Because uh, if you go for just the shock value, you're going to diminish, or you may diminish what might happen uh, later on down the road. And again, you never know what the ramifications of killing off a character is going to be, and uh, especially if you're connected to that character. Remember, you gave birth to that character. So when you kill that character, it's a lights out, unless they come back, which would be a twist! <laughs> When you are writing a plot twist, can you elevate a minor character? Oh, yeah. I mean, you could uh, lose uh, a character, and it's, depending on the group dynamic, uh, it's going to shift. So, you know, uh, third in line now becomes the second. The second in line becomes the first. Uh, so it can be a way to uh, not only unbalance the reader in a good way, but shake up what you're doing. I think, a, a, I wouldn't say perfect, because there's no real perfect answer, but I think a good answer is from the movie Heathers, which our daughter is a complete freak over. Um, but when Veronica, uh, uh, spoiler, kills off one of the Heathers, right? she doesn't really kill her off. She's there when she dies. Uh, mm -hmm. That elevates the other two Heathers, uh, and it changes the group dynamic. Uh, in a way where it fit, it fitted the movie. Although yeah. that movie could never be shot nowadays. Because, no. Yeah, yeah, never. Yeah, no. But that was, a, that was a pretty good movie. Have this. Go watch it. Should a big reveal instigate a twist ending? It can. You, you, I mean, you can do that. Uh, you could do... Uh, you could do a big reveal, but remember, when you do a twist ending, it's got to be really good. And I'm going to point out M9 Shyamalan. First off, like him or love him, the guy's got some work out there. And uh, Unbreakable, good. Uh, the second movie to that was good. And then the third movie was straight in the toilet. I know. Pitch a ticket back, you mother... Uh, you, uh, because they gave up the twist ending in the middle of the movie. When they killed off the characters at the end. Spoiler. What a twist. I told you spoiler. Before. After. Sometime. <laughs> seemingly. I don't know where I'm going with this. But. No. I mean. Sometimes you get a movie. And it'll, it, it, right in the middle. It will reveal. What the twist is going to be. And you're like. What the. F you know. Thanks Star Wars. Oh yeah. She's. She's the grandson. Okay. 
Palpatine's grandson. Let me show you how cloning works. If I clone myself and my clone has a kid, that's not my grandson, you jackass. Okay? That's your kid. Okay? Palpatine's kid. Ray is Palpatine's kid. Watch me. Watch me. I clone her. Okay? I clone her. Am I banging her daughter or am I banging her? I'm banging her because I can clone. Okay? Anybody at Walt Disney should listen to me and a million other people saying that exact thing because it goes on my ass and sideways. And not in a fun way where like you're wearing that little lacy thing. But she's not the grandchild of Palpatine. She's the daughter. Okay? Albeit a clone. See? I told you I could get that word in there. Albeit she's a clone. Okay? But it give away the whole movie when that shit came out. Uh, this whole twist ending and stuff like that. She couldn't have been a Kenobi. She couldn't. She could have been nobody. Okay. If you do it wrong, many people are going to come out and urinate all over your stuff. Okay. Uh, as I expect, somebody will piss all over my book and hey, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you spent the money on it. At least videotape it. I'll laugh when you do it. And I'll give you a thumbs up. Hell, I'll even subscribe to you. Why? I like every video I watch if I like the video, and I rarely give a thumbs up. Okay. Ooh, what a twist! Don't forget to subscribe. Here's the twist. I'm going to ask the question this time. Should a plot twist be earned? Yes, because it wouldn't be a story without it. Here's a twist. I don't know what that means. It means that if it's not integrated into the story. And yeah, but there's no plot twist in The Wizard of Oz. They get high. They beat up some little people. Twist, they get high again, and then I think there's a couple of murders. I'm pretty sure there's just one. Yeah, she totally kills that witcher in the beginning. <laughs> At the end? Yeah, I'll kill a motherfucker over shoes, too. If oh, they're there's magic a shoes. If they're magic shoes, I will kill you for them. Okay? No. Especially if they make me look good. Not high heels, though, because, uh, I mean, I got banging calves, but I don't want them hurting at the end of the night, you know? What I mean is the plot twist should be earned because if you just say, oh, here's the plot twist, then it's not really a story, is it? No. Then there's no reason for the plot twist to be there, right? To be fair, in my opinion... Uh, plot twists are a very, very tricky device. If you know what you're doing, or if you're just naturally good at them, man, fucking go for it, okay? If you're not good at it, okay, and you're trying to force it, and this is, again, my opinion. I hate that we live in a world where I have to say it's my opinion constantly. Man, it goes on my nose sideways. If you have to force something, don't do it, okay? Take a break. Have a hot shower. Go for a nice meal. Compliment your spouse, do something, okay? Or if you, if you by yourself, just look in the mirror and say, hey, I'm doing my best. Take a nap, fuck, that's what I do. Uh, but I don't force anything. Nothing that you're gonna read that I put out, I forced. Uh, and I have to do constant research because I might not know how to use a word correctly. Or uh, I might not be able to use a sentence the way I want because it's not dynamic. If I feel I'm forcing it, I will put it into the notes section and I will dwell on it for a bit. So, uh, and I'm not really super good at plot twists, except for I pulled off a couple. Oh, yeah. But it was accidental. See, I'm not going to try to bullshit you and be like, oh, I'm a genius when it comes to this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is, it's, you know, it's some of it just comes to me. So I, I, just, I just do my best. But all I can give you for advice is if you have to force it, it ain't going to go. So that is all the content we have for you today. If you like our content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And go ahead and give us a thumbs up, letting us know that you like it. Yeah, man, I'd like your videos. And Oh, that pisses me off, man. People that don't like videos. I don't know why it upsets me. It's just like, it helps grow people's channels. Uh, and uh, I got a particular friend, I'm not gonna say names. Kitty cat, you know who I'm talking to. She never likes anybody. Oh, I always forget. Okay. But it helps grow. The, it Honestly, it helps the like and subscribe and shares. They really do. They help grow an individual person's channel. And uh, you never know. Somebody could blow up. They'll take you with it. And, uh, you know. Yeah. Don't forget to hit us up on uh, Rumbler, Tumblr, Daffy, Duty, <laughs> and what are all the other seven dwarf names? Okay. We're going to Rumble also. And if you want to find out more updates on the book, go ahead and hit us up on our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Parlor, and MeWe. I got them all right.
Do I pull the MeWe out? Do I pull my MeWe out? That's how you uh that's how you get on to MeWe. Your password is you gotta get up and you gotta pull your MeWe out. And then every, everybody goes, ha ha, ha ha, what a twist. You're really a five year old kid. So that is everything we have for you today. So we will see you next time. Oh, what a twist. This video was eh, I give it a <laughs> Uh, thumbs kind of not all the way up, but uh, more than. Uh, what a twist. See you later.